hello hello welcome or welcome back to my channel i'm charnay and today we are going to be doing a fall sewing plans video now i know fall is right around the corner it's probably here already by the time you all view this video but the official first day of fall is september 22nd i know it probably feels like for some folks we have already been in fall i think just because folks and the stores and the seasons like people are always in a rush okay i feel like you know fall stuff started popping up in stores around i don't know like early august so it felt like fall was already here but september 22nd is the first official day of fall and i kind of wanted to do something similar like what i did at the beginning of summer where i share with you all my summer sewing plans now my summer sewing plans i mentioned in another video my plans were very ambitious considering the fact that i am a beginner sewist now just because it's fall that does not mean fall off the grid fall off the map and fall off your normal routines and i'm speaking to my girlies who are not a fan of this season changing fall is like that time of year for me at least when i'm like i can see the finish line the year is almost over i've been going super hard at the beginning of the year achieving my goals but i'm feeling like i want to let up a bit i slip out of my workout routine my eating habits change i switch up a bit because around this time of year i've been doing some summer traveling and the holidays are coming up this is when all the good food and drinks start coming out. I personally am one of those people who is not a fan of the cold weather. I am a true summer lover. I tend to come alive in the summertime. It's something about the cold weather where I am just not feeling it, okay? Some of you can probably even tell from my mood in some of my older videos, I'm just blah. I am just super bland and dry. It's probably because the time changed, the days feel cooler and shorter, which is one of the many reasons why I moved from the Midwest to the West Coast is because of the weather. Now, I enjoy the decorations, the pumpkin flavored and fall drinks, but the cold weather, you can keep, okay? So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you my sewing plans for the fall, my mood board and fabric and pattern pairings. So let's get into it. Since I don't have a personal weather machine, one of the ways I'm gonna be attempting to deal with the weather changing is doing some dopamine dressing and stitching. And what I mean by dopamine dressing is I'm going to continue to dress in summer colors such as this like this bright yellow and just anything any color that you can connect to the summertime this year i'm going to attempt to do some dopamine dressing so that way i can stay in high spirits and just feel my best self i know that spring is typically the time of year where people wear floral and go print crazy but since i now sew i can do and wear what i want so i picked up this fabric right here which is going to be some fabric that i'm going to be using for one of my main projects that i plan to work on during this season um it is this kind of dark floral print fabric i don't want to unravel it all the way but um yeah you all can clearly see it's this dark very moody floral print fabric i got this from joanne's fabric and this is labeled a spring fabric this came out spring 2024 however i think because it has this darker background color i think i can get away with wearing it during um the fall season so this is one of the main projects i am going to be working on this fabric and i am going to be trying to create this look this bomber jacket that you see, which is view A. This is new look 6545. The main thing that I wanna work on this fall is creating this floral printed bomber jacket. Now I did go ahead and create a mood board, but I'm not making any promises this time that I am gonna stitch up 
everything on this mood board. I just kind of wanted to go through some of the items that I have on this mood board, let you all know some styles and trends that I'm spotting from some popular websites and just thinking about some patterns that I can potentially use just because um, there are so many different patterns that you can use with this and I also have to revisit my stash to see what patterns exactly pair with some of these looks on my mood board. I'll just put the image up on the screen. But I want to wear clothes that feel vibrant and less neutral and muted. As I was reflecting on my summer sewing plans, I was like, why am I like this? How did I get here where I started wearing mainly blacks and neutrals and so many sweats? And then I realized it's because the nature of my previous roles and jobs and day-to-day -day activities. A lot of my early 20s, I mainly worked retail and I would spend the weekends traveling or going out. So my wardrobe is mainly filled with black colored clothes because the uniform for retail was black and I mainly have outfits for going out or vacation clothes and loungewear because that's what I was doing. I was either working, lounging around the house, or traveling. When I stepped into corporate, I probably added a few additional pieces to my all-black wardrobe, but they were not pieces that reflected me. They were clothes that said, I'm here to do my job if you know what I mean. So like I can easily see how people, myself included, I can see how you can have a closet full of clothes that you don't connect with. And another thing, when I say we, I mainly mean I. I'm just saying we, so y'all don't feel left out and I'm not alone in this, okay? Y'all watching, I'm considering y'all to be my creative crew, okay? But back to what i was saying if you are someone who mainly goes to church on sunday guess what you're going to mainly have your sunday's best filled in your closet if you are a lawyer you are going to have your attire for representing your clients the same for nurses moms teachers whoever we buy for what we do and the places we are going and not necessarily for self-expression well, at least I'm guilty of it, okay? So for my fall wardrobe, I want it to reflect me. I think this is the prime example of you don't have to look like what you're going through just because you work from home. That does not mean you have to look like you are at home. If you feel like getting dressed up, do it, okay? If you got a cast on, you don't have to look like you are healing, okay? But dazzle that bad boy and keep it pushing. And I'm telling y'all this because if you see me or anyone else dressed up, don't ask them where they are going, okay? Just tell them they look good and keep it pushing. I know that's definitely a thing where people see other people all dressed up and they're like, okay, where you going, okay? Don't ask me that if you see me dressed up. Just be like, okay, I see you, girl. I see you, okay? So let's get back into my mood board. This summer, I was definitely, again, overly ambitious. So I'm going to try and keep this season somewhat simple and try not to sew all of these things. But I just wanted to give you an idea of styles and looks I have in mind. So I have my iPad here and I'm also gonna put an image up on the screen. I took a lot of my inspiration images from Pinterest as well as Anthropology website. Now the first thing that I seen and that I have on my first initial mood board, I actually made three different mood boards for the fall because there are a bunch of different looks that I came across and especially because again, the more cooler seasons it is in my favorite time of year. So. I just found a lot of different inspiration images to kind of help me balance the summer colors with the more um, cooler weather looks. But anyways, the first thing that I'm seeing is I'm seeing a lot of laid back looks, but still look elevated and chic. And so I'm going to tell you exactly what I mean when I mean 
elevated polished put together and chic like a lot of these looks that are on this particular mood board that i'm showing you all i feel like it takes something that can be a frumpy look especially if you are someone like me where you tend to just grab an oversized sweatshirt or a big coat and you're petite the coat that tends to swallow you up sometimes i think what I don't know the creative director or whoever put these looks together for this fall season i think they were going for you can still look laid back but still pull it together in so many ways so what i mean by this is take a look at this first look which is with this gray sweatshirt i love how they pair this this gray sweatshirt with almost like a button down shirt underneath and i think that's a great way for you to take something that tends to be very bulky and boxy and can have a frumpy look but with something as simple as a collared shirt or button down shirt underneath it you can take something that looks like you just rolled out of bed and make it look like organized chaos like it's intentional that you threw on these sweats but you're still pulling it together by popping on either a collared shirt underneath that's what it looks like at least for me if you look along the bottom hemline of that sweatshirt also i love that in all these looks that i have on this mood board they all have on a baseball cap now i am definitely a hat kind of girl especially when you just want to run out and Run a few quick errands. I think that if you have a nice baseball cap that kind of matches your coat and your shoes, it's a great way to kind of pull it all together. And something that I'm noticing, especially when it relates to the sewing community and the sewing world, I've noticed that a lot of Mimi G patterns, especially more of her winter patterns, if you take a look at any of her patterns where she has a coat, the ones that are most memorable to me at least are the jackets that have a bold, bright, and a vibrant color. So for me, I'm personally going to try to sew up some type of jacket that has a bold bright and vibrant color i did this kind of thing at the beginning of this year while i stitched up that blue fleece jacket and that had a very bold bright color look to it so i'm thinking along those same lines to just kind of find me a fun fabric that is bright whether it is a red a yellow or this olive green and stitching it up so that way it's like a long trench coat style jacket and also pairing it with some nice dunks and a baseball cap and i think you are good to go another thing that i'm really enjoying on this mood board is mixing both that masculine and feminine energy or that light and dark energy and just kind of playing with like the hot and cold and the contrast of things and i think you really get that with this red outfit the one where she it looks like these are adidas that she has on and it is the silk ankle length skirt with the bomber jacket and the red handbag i just love that it's all one cohesive color because again i'm a matchy matchy girly so i love that she has paired like this warm cooler weather jacket with a summer skirt and then she just has like this laid back look to it with these gym shoes yes i say gym shoes and not sneakers because i'm from chicago and that's the chicago in me but i love how she paired this whole entire look together with the gym shoes and the baseball cap and then this light um an airy and feminine summer skirt with a bomber jacket i'm definitely considering recreating some type of look along those lines this fall now right below that i have some images from anthropology's website and i love how again it's this cheetah print bomber jacket and they kind of play off the colors that are in that jacket by pairing it with a warm brown neutral baseball cap the same thing with the look beneath it there's this fun flared out summer skirt paired with a white 
kind of tank top, racerback tank top, and then she has layered a cardigan sweater over that and paired it with some ballerina flats as well as a baseball cap. Again, I think it's a great way to kind of have that laid back look but still have that cohesive, elevated, chic style. So that way if you are running a quick errand and you want to look put together but the things may not all go together i think this is a great way to kind of pull it all together and i even think that this this um this last outfit at the bottom of my mood board with the sweater and the skirt and the tank top and the flats i think this is a day to night look like this is definitely for one of those this is for one of those days where you know you probably went out on a first date okay and the first date probably didn't go so well so you just probably hit up your friends or your cousins and you like look i went on a date and i thought we was going to hang out a little bit more but it didn't work out but now you could take this same outfit and you could go hang out with your girls at brunch okay like i feel like this is definitely like a day to night type of outfit or you just don't know where the day is going to take you type of outfit you know how you just kind of go out you don't really have like plans. This is for my my girls, my single girls who are just still trying to extend that summertime fine and just summer energy into the fall. And you're just having one of those days where you just don't know what the day will bring. I think that this is definitely one of those day to night outfits where you can be kind of laid back, casual, but then also put together. And I think you could kind of wear it to a bunch of different occasions and a bunch of different scenarios so this is my first mood board that i went ahead and put together i think it's a great way for if you are one of those laid back girlies let's stop saying in my lazy girl era because there is nothing lazy about being a woman okay like listen don't get me started it'd be some days you get up the day just started and you just be like whoo you be tired, tired when the day just started, okay? So let's get out of saying I'm in my lazy girl era and you're just in your, you know, laid back era. This is a great way for you to look chic, elevated, and put together, but do it in a way that still feel laid back and comfortable to you. So this concludes my fall sewing plans as well as outfit inspirations that I am hoping to stitch up and style this season. As I mentioned earlier, I made a couple other mood boards and just outfits and ideas and things that I want to wear this season. So if you like this video and you're into that, be sure to subscribe to my channel, stick around and see what I end up making. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you all in my next video. Bye.